So today I'd like to give you a little information about liver cancers. So usually liver tumors could be of two types. They could either be primary liver tumors. That means tumors which arise from the liver itself. Or more commonly we have tumors which metastasize to the liver. That means you have tumors elsewhere in the body and there are secondary tumors which come into the liver. So what are the commonest types of primary liver tumors? Most commonly we see hepatocellular carcinomas. Uh, you know how HCCs are different from other tumors is that a lot of HCCs come up in the background of uh, a diseased liver. Almost 80% of patients who come to us with hepatocellular carcinoma have a cirrhotic liver. The extent of cirrhosis uh, actually determines the kind of treatment that many of these patients get. Three common causes of cirrhosis are hepatitis B, hepatitis C and alcohol. And uh, what we are seeing more and more today is uh, an entity called NASH, uh, which is non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. That usually is because of obesity, lifestyle issues, uh, usually coupled with, the, with, with diabetes. And uh, a lot of these patients have what we call as a fatty liver. Hepatitis B and C is, uh, is another important cause of, of cirrhosis and an independent cause of these kind of tumors. And uh, a lot of people who received blood transfusions in the 80s and 90s where uh, uh, the blood was not routinely checked for hepatitis B and C uh, before it became mandatory. And a lot of people were transfused with blood and today uh, it is important that if you've, if you've received blood transfusions at that time, uh, you should get yourself checked for hepatitis B or C. A lot of these liver tumors will need surgery and uh, some of them are amenable to surgery, some of them are treated with liver transplantation. There are very select patients where liver transplant is useful. Uh, a lot of these patients, however, may not be, in the, in the, uh, uh, may not be amenable to surgery. And those are patients who will require uh, people from interventional radiology helping them. And there are procedures like chemoembolizations or radioembolizations which are very useful in these patients. There are times when the surgery is not possible or they're very cirrhotic. We offer them uh, ablative treatments like microwave or radiofrequency ablation and uh, bridge them to transplant. There are some other types of primary liver tumors like intrahepatic cholangiocarcinomas which are again treated with surgery and a combination of chemotherapy if required. Uh, secondary liver tumors, again it depends upon where the metastasis into the liver has come from. So if it's come from the colon or the rectum, usually they are, they are very amenable to treatment. We are very aggressive with treating them. In spite of them being stage 4 disease, we have more than 30 to 40 percent of patients do very well with uh, with the combination of surgery and chemotherapy. What is important as a, as a lay person to understand is that every one of these tumors has a very individualized kind of treatment. Every tumor scenario is different. Every patient is different, and we will need to actually sit down and individualize these the treatment based on the patient's needs and the patient's requirements and. Again, it is very important to understand that today, cancer does not mean the end of the road. We have a huge number of cancer survivors and uh, who lead absolutely normal lives, 5 years, 10 years, 20 years. So, uh, while we are not able to kind of do that for everyone, but with advancing medical science, I think uh, there's more and more hope for all our patients.